good morning students welcome to classes on agricultural economics today we will be dealing with commission for agricultural cost and prices cscp commission for agricultural cost and prices is a decentralized agency of the government of india it is an attached office of the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare government of india and it was established in 1965 as agricultural price commission and was given its name in present name in 1985 so commission for agricultural cost and prices is a decentralized agency of government of india and it works under the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare cscp was established in the year 1965 as the commission Uh, the price agricultural price commission and uh, the agricultural price commission was renamed to cscp or commission for agricultural cost and prices in the year 1985 moving on to the mission of cscp the commission for agricultural cost and prices was established to recommend minimum support prices and to thereby motivate cultivators and farmers to adopt latest technology in order to optimize the use of resources and increase productivity so mission of cscp is to make recommendations on minimum support price so when government make a proper announcement of minimum support prices farmers will get a stable prices for their product and and thereby their income will be stabilized when farmers get proper fixed stable income then uh, they will increase investment in farm they will adopt latest technology so mission of commission for agricultural cost and prices is to is to make recommendation on minimum support price and thereby motivate cultivators and farmers to adopt latest technology in order to optimize the use of resources and increase farm productivity now let us move on to the composition of cscp cscp has a chairman a member secretary one official member and two non official members the two non official members are mainly the uh, representative of farmers so two non official members are closely related with farming community so uh, cscp has a chairman a member secretary one official member and two non official members who are representatives of farming community the current chairman of cscp is professor vijay paul sharma and current member secretary is dr shailaja sharma moving on to the functions of cscp so there are mainly nine important functions uh, of cscp first is it is mandated to recommend minimum support price so first and foremost function of cscp is to uh, make recommendations on minimum support price so government fixes minimum support price uh considering the recommendation of cscp second important function of cscp is to assure a remunerative and stable price environment in the country we know that in in bumper production years prices of farm products tends to fall so during bumper production years to stabilize price environment in in the country government announces minimum support price so cscp recommends minimum support price to government so through this uh, cscp assures a remunerative and stable price environment in the country third important function of cscp is to submit its recommendations to government in the form of price policy report so cscp submits uh, its recommendations to government in the form of price policy reports every year 
and uh, they usually uh, submit price policy reports separately for five groups of commodities namely carif crop rabi crop sugarcane road jute and coke yet another important function of cacp is to make on the spot assessment of various constraints faced by farmers so farmers usually face uh, different dif uh, so many difficulties in marketing their products as well as raising the productivity levels of their crop so these are main uh, uh, constraints faced by farmers so cacp another important function of cacp is to make an on the spot assessment of various constraints faced by farmers now let us move on to the fifth function public provision of reports regarding agricultural prices so see another important function of cacp is to uh, provide its report to public or to various stakeholders yet another important function of cacp is to examine the prevailing methods and cost of marketing of agricultural commodities in different regions so another important function of cacp is to uh, is to examine the prevailing methods and cost of agricultural marketing in india and to make uh, suggestions if necessary seventh point to keep under review uh, uh, under review studies relating to price policy now let us move on to the seventh point to keep under review studies relating to price policy and arrangements for collecting of information regarding agricultural prices so another important function of cacp is to make under review studies relating to price policy and to collect uh, necessary information regarding agricultural prices and suggest uh, improvements if necessary and to organize research studies in the field of price policy yet another important object uh, sorry function of cacp is to advise on any problem relating to agricultural prices and other production so if government is demanding uh, any any advice on any issues relating to agricultural prices and production uh, cacp should do that so another important function of cacp is to make advice on any problem relating to agricultural prices and other production last function to effectively integrate recommended non price measures with price recommendations and ensure competitive agriculture so uh, another important function of cacp is to ensure competitive agriculture by integrating recommended non price measures with price measures now let us move on to recommendations minimum support price for agricultural commodities are fixed by government each year after taking into account the recommendations of the commission so cacp make major recommendations on minimum support price as of now cacp recommends minimum support price of 23 commodities in the last video i have wrongly mentioned 22 commodities but actually cacp recommends minimum support prices of 23 commodities and these commodities includes seven cereals five pulses seven oil seeds four and four commercial crops 